Well, days after the education minister unveiled the ministry's plan for a virtual platform once the new school year opens October 5th, an organization is stepping up to the plate to assist the thousands of students who may not be able to access those online classes. Here's Lloyd Allen. We um, heard of the reports of a potential digital divide and the fact that there were some students who were denied access to education simply because they did not have a device. President of Lynx Nassau chapter, Charlene Smith, said it was from that need that her organization decided to lend a hand in donating some 40 smart devices for students in the public sector. The donation was made Wednesday morning on the grounds of the Ministry of Education's head office. On hand to receive the devices were senior members of the Ministry of Education, led by Minister Jeffrey Lloyd. He noted that the donation was a positive sign of commitment by a community stakeholder to assist the more than 20,000 students without a laptop or a smartphone, but all preparing for a new era in education. We are in a virtual environment and have been since last year, September, when we realized in order for us to really provide equitable and inclusive education as we have committed ourselves to with the United Nations, Sustainable Development Goal Number 4 and the Organization of American States and the Inter-American Development Bank and UNESCO, everybody. We have committed to provide every child the same quality education that any other child receives. Speaking to the nature of the virtual school, the minister says the new system is also slated to reduce shortages in specialist teachers in areas across the country, specifically in the southern Bahamas. One principal benefit of that was to provide distance education for those who did not before then have that opportunity. So students in Maguana, Auckland, Crooked Island, Long Key and other parts of the Bahamas then can see and receive physics, chemistry, maths at the same time as those in New Providence. Minister Lloyd says conversations with service providers remain ongoing to facilitate the increased volume of online traffic at schools, as well as to assist those who may not have those services within their homes or communities. We are, of course, working with other partners, many of whom have come forward and says, what can I do? This is what you could do. If you really could do something right now, not textbooks, not writing books, a device. The minister also sharing that a learning and information management system is in the pipeline to assist with issues like truancy, tutoring, or even special needs learners. Because a student now can access his or her education anywhere on the planet. Access the teacher, the library, the resources they need, and not, just, not confined only to the Bahamas, but anywhere in the world. For instance, we know about the Khan Academy, easily able to access those resources. Get tutorials if you're having struggles with maths or science or technology. So we are on the cusp of something great in education in the Bahamas. Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.